everybody. This is just a quick and easy. It's Cindy A. Lewis here. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a 12 by 12 sheet that's going to make five pockets plus some flips and a place for a little notepad. Um, what you're going to do is pick your sheet. It doesn't have to be double sided. This one just happens to be. And I'm going to put this pocket in my envelope journal. We haven't worked on this in a while, but it'll help strengthen those pages that are in there. All right. You need to decide which way your design is going for the pocket to be a horizontal pocket. So we're going to make this six inches. So uh, let's go ahead and score before we um, actually cut the pockets. Did this a while ago and I thought it would save a lot of time if I did. So we're going to score at four and then we're going to score at four again or eight. So we're just going to score at four. All right. That is going to help us a lot. Save some time. And since this is a quick and easy video, we want to save some time. So now we're going to turn our paper the other direction and we're going to cut at six. And we're going to cut at four. And this leaves us a two inch piece. Now, I saw this um, on Instagram with Raven Vintage CA, so I linked her information below if you'd like to go check it out. I cut mine a little bit different than the way she did. All right, so you're going to fold this way, so like an accordion, and you're going to do that on all your pieces. Now, I would vintageize as you know I, that I like to do, but we're not going to do that today. I'm just going to go ahead and glue the pieces in so I can show you how it goes together. All right, so take your glue, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your small one first, and it glues like this, so you're going to flip it over, and wherever this one is on the left, when you flip it over, you're going to glue the bottoms and the sides together and glue it to the four inch one where the folds are. So where your score lines are. All right, I cut mine off a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so I glued here along the bottom and here, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna glue all along this side around the bottom and the other side here, okay? And then we're gonna lay it right on top of the six inch and glue those together. All right, and what happens, this becomes a full page uh, embellishment where you have one, two, three, four, and this is gonna be your fifth pocket, okay? Then you're gonna have a flip, a flip, and a flip, and then you can put a notepad here. I'll show you one I already put together. And then all you do is take it and you put it in on the page that you want it to uh, fit on. So just like this, and you would glue here, here, and here, just like that. And it glues yours together. I will embellish this off camera, but let me show you really quick um, how it looks embellished in my al um, altered book junk journal. So if you open it up, you have these pockets here and a pocket on the side when you glue it in. And then you have your flips and then a place for journaling, notepad, and whatever. So let me, let me uh, embellish this one a bit and glue it in and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here is this pocket glued in has the flips, which you can embellish more. This paper so pretty as it is. I didn't put the pad here, but I did make a mini pad here and put that in here with some ephemera. And then this will just fit inside my beautiful journal, um, envelope junk journal. So you can see that one and then this one and how pretty these turn out. And again, you have that side pocket here that you glue it in that way. Let me show you again here, um, this side pocket here. 
And this one I put on one of my waterfall pages. As you can see, you have the waterfall pages and I just added it to that one. So anyway, very cute. I uh, love this new pocket. Thanks to Raven Vintage CA for sharing it. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you.